Tommy, you've recently took delivery of this uh, vCenter AX800 5-axis machine. Quite interestingly, this is your first 5-axis machine, isn't it, here at McGreevy Engineering? Why, why do you need 5-axis? Uh, we're starting to move into the aerospace industry, and a lot of the work that we're doing up to now has required us to do it in three or four different operations. Uh, we've seen a need to buy a 5-axis to, first of all, compete with our competitors, and uh, also... Uh, cut out operations to make us more competitive. It's it's a good way to go. It's a very good way to go. I believe you're in the process of getting your AS9100 as well, aren't you? We'll hopefully, fingers crossed, have it this week. Yeah, we'll be up and running. Now, this particular model from Victor um, has been around now for about 18 months or maybe, maybe two years. It's a fairly new machine to the market, but it has been quite popular. What were some of the reasons that you opted for this AX800? Um, well, first of all, we've already had a purchase of a Victor. We've uh, had one of their lathes. We haven't had any issues with it. Uh, it's been very reliable. The reason that we bought this machine uh, was because it has bigger capacity than most of our competitors. It's 1.6 metres in the X. I do like the layout of this machine, the way we can see it here moving. You've got the B-axis head. So there, there are a few different ways you can, or, or styles of five-axis machine. But with this one, the point you just made about the 1600 in the X-axis is quite important because you can therefore use this as a, a kind of a three-axis big machining centre and a five-axis, correct? Yeah, correct, yeah. And as well as that there, as you can see there, the operators could very easy access to the machine as well. What sort of speed is this machine? I know in the background we're not we're not moving it at its maximum, but you got have you got a fifteen thousand RPM spindle on it? Yeah, of course, yeah, fifteen thousand RPM, which means you're you're really into high speed machining and a lot of the stuff. And with the component that you've got here, you'd be looking to tackle uh, the side faces as well as the the top face and the internals as well, I suppose, oh, yeah, to reduce yeah. the operation. Yeah, you can do the top face and you can do the four sides if you've got the job uh, set up properly. Yeah. You've got lots of three-axis machines, and with this machine, you've got more tools. Does that help you? Oh, yeah. Well, obviously, with the five-axis, you need more tools, but we've got 40 uh, tools in this machine, you know. Obviously, you're hitting the job from four or five different directions, so you will need the more tools for the more setup. You do need it. The 40 is, uh, is uh, very, very good, yeah. And is this your first venture into BBT 40 style spindles? Yes, uh, well, we've, yes, B, yeah, we're, all of the other machines have all got BT 40s. The BT 40s will actually fit this as well, so we can use the standard tooling that we've got on the other machines onto this machine as well. Rigidity of, of machine tools like this give you, uh, give you longevity, which is what Victor's known for, and I know you mentioned earlier about the fact you've, you've got a Victor lathe. But also with the BBT40 spindle, that coupled with a, with a good build gives you surface finish, more accurate components for, for a, a longer lifetime? Yeah, hopefully, yeah. Uh, we're pretty new into it at the minute, you know, so we've a wee bit of a learning curve to go, you know. Um, probably if you come back here in six months or a year's time, you know, we'll be able to answer a lot more questions for you. But at the minute, yeah, we've done a couple of jobs on it at the minute and uh, the rigidity we've got is unbelievable. Our, our, we, I delivered a part last Friday to a customer and I couldn't believe the finish on it. Um, he says that normally he would polish it, and uh, he says with the components we machined on this machine here, he says he wouldn't need to polish them. That's how good a finish we got. That's good. And, and you did buy this machine with through spindle coolant, didn't you, and the, the swarf package that you've got here? Yes, correct, we bought the full package. And I, I think what this is also important to see, it's good that this machine's moving because that Y-axis is actually 700 millimeters, which is, is quite big compared to other machine tools as well. It's 1600 in the X, and 700 in the Y. So you've got plenty of opportunity for larger parts as you move forward in your business. That's right, and the, the, the rotary table there is 800 as well, you know, so you can you can do parts on it and rotate it round and do it in two halves, so you've actually got more capacity than what you need. And I think also, before we conclude this, there are two other models of the AX800. You've got the AX800 II, which enables you to get a metre diameter part, which again is, is a sizable component. And then you've got the AX800 Aero 320 model that has a fourth axis type trunnion table on it as opposed to the fixed table. You said to me earlier as well that if you get your AS9100 you might have another one so it could be one of those two models as well couldn't it? Well we're going to get our AS9100. There's not going to be any ifs about it. We're going to get it. We'll have it this week hopefully. And um, yeah as soon as we basically let our customers know that we've got it we're expecting a lot of work and uh, if we get any data will work, we'll certainly be looking at another factor, yeah. And it's quite, it's quite a small machine for the size of it as well, so I'm sure you can fit it. Thank you very much for your, or fit more. Thank you for your time, Tommy. No thank you very much.